Hey guys, this is SJ back to you with another video for today, and it's going to be a really late upload. Uh, it's actually one o'clock in the morning where I'm recording this, but um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Visual Studios 2015 edition on Kali Linux, and so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download the file, which is in the description. So once you download that, put it on your desktop and uh, just follow me. Now what you're going to do, you're going to change the directory to your desktop. Now you're going to list the directory. You're going to type in dpkg space tac i and then just press tab and then press enter. Now what it's doing is just going to unpack everything that's inside of that file. And it's going to set up all the files and it's going to put it in your applications. And well, before it was the Visual Studios icon was already to the left. It's going to exit out of it. And now you're going to go to your applications. Now you're going to go to your usual applications, you got accessories. And as you can see, Visual Studios is right there, right up under text editor. And yeah. And that's pretty much it guys. That's really all it's to it. You can open up, you can open it up. <clears throat> now once you, well I've added it to my favorites, but you can open it up. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to hit control uh, P, control and P. Well after this finish uh, updating the dependencies. Let's give it a second. Now you're going to hit control P. And then there's going to be a little bar that shows up at the top of the screen. And you're going to type EXT install C sharp. Now these are just uh, um, libraries that you can install with pretty much anything you want. Uh, but I've already installed it. That's if you code in C sharp. Uh, if you want Python, you're going to type EXT install space Python. And there you go. I've already I already have Python installed. Uh, you're gonna type ext for C plus, and you're gonna install CPP tools. Press enter, and there you go. I already have it installed. Most of the main languages that I use are C plus, Python, and C sharp. So now that's pretty much it to it, guys. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe the video. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.